Good morning, friends, and welcome to Saturday, March 5th. James Montley starts us off with For the Beauty of the Earth. Saturday's devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Will Willimon. And the scripture reading is Luke 4, 1 through 12. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing at all during those days, and when they were over, he was famished. And the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. But Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. And then the devil led him up and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, To you I will give their glory and all this authority, for it has been given over to me, and I will give it to anyone I please. If you then will worship me, it will be yours. But Jesus answered him, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to protect you. And on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. But Jesus answered him, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to, to the test. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Jesus begins his ministry not by joining with family and friends to celebrate his ordination, but rather by being cast into the wilderness where he's tempted by Satan. When the author thinks of temptation, he thinks of sin, lust, pride, greed, the seven deadlies, and the other self-evident wrongs. Sin is complicity with evil, doing wrong, succumbing to bad desires. The temptations put before Jesus by Satan are different. Jesus, I know you want to help people. Think of the good you could do for hungry people by turning these stones into bread. No, I can see your point. Feed somebody today and they'll be hungry tomorrow. You should do sustainable good by the only means that we have of doing systematic, effective good. Politics. Take over the kingdoms of the world. No? That's true. You're a spiritual leader. Throw yourself down from the pinnacle of the temple. Give solid, miraculous proof to struggling believers. But Jesus refuses. Satan's temptations are not sexual, abusive, or immoral. Bread for the hungry, power used responsibly, and miraculous evidence, these are good things. And yet, Jesus says, no. Note that Satan begins by saying, since you are God's son, if you are who the voice at your baptism said you were, <clears throat> God's son, act like it. Be the Messiah we thought we deserved, not the Messiah that you are. Prove that you are the God we wanted. But Jesus says no. Why did Jesus refuse such tempting offers? What kind of Savior would refuse to align with our expectations for God? We must wait and watch Jesus in action for the next 40 days of Lent. Satan departs and Jesus goes his way, not as the God we thought we have to have, but rather as the Savior that he is. Let us pray. O oh Lord, help us to follow where you would lead, rather than walking where we think we should go. Amen. Our closing hymn is Seek Ye First. Seek ye first.
Yes, man.